Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Community Report. I am Dari Ido. There is strength in numbers and that is the premise on which cluster farming is built. The system allows smallholder farmers share resources, knowledge and markets, helping them improve on their incomes. Of course, every business is expected to be built on sustainable practice strong enough to cut costs with an advantage of some economic returns. So despite these communal settings, Individual farmers has unique preferences, attitudes, and experiences shaping the business, even in the larger group. On this episode of the program, we spend time with a cluster of pig farmers, learning about pigry from a large farm settlement where the farmers are not only knowledgeable about their line of business, but also skilled on how to achieve profitable pig production. For fishery, pigry, or any other livestock farming, the cluster system has proven to be sustainable. Brought together by a common business goal, the farmers share ideas and create new opportunities among themselves. Farming in clusters is an economically viable practice to sustain small limited resource and socially disadvantaged farmers. The major goal is to improve agriculture and reduce poverty with socio-economic approach to empower local farmers and their families. Okiaro Pig Farm prides itself as the largest pig farm in West Africa with about 3,000 farmers, over 240,000 pigs and annual pork production of about 576,000 tons. The farm settlement sits on 33,000 hectares of land. Well, uh, uh, the farm is actually structured um, in a way it is being owned and run by the Ministry, Lagos State Ministry of Agriculture. We have our cooperatives here in the farm. At present now we have 17 cooperatives here in Okiaru new farm. We equally have a um, cooperative as well at the old farm. So all it takes for you to come to the farm, you register with any of the cooperatives that you, you feel you want to belong to. You register with the union, with um, the union and you are a farm. Once you've done your registration, you are, are a farmer. In the business, I believe pig farming is a very lucrative business and it's, it's a kind of business that even the country can rely on because pig is very, very productive and there are various aspects of pig farming that you can do like some people do breeding, some do buying and selling, some do fattening, so it depends any aspect your interest lies that you do. For me, I do more of buying and selling. People breed, I buy, I rent for some time, I sell for people that will do fattening. That's, I didn't do much of breeding. And it's very good, very lucrative, very successful. I've been in the business for more than two years now, and to God be the glory, I choose this business for, for convenience, for peace of mind, because it's, it's a business I can do. I don't have to be there 24-7, and I can monitor my business, even from the comfort of my home. Yes, I have attendant that, while I'm not in the farm, I call them what and what is happening. If, I, if any of my animals fall sick, I, they need to be treated, I call on my doctors, they attend to them. If it is the feed, I get people that are bringing the feed to the farm, I can transfer money to the accounts. My carriers will carry the feed into my farm, my attendants will feed them. Once my animals are okay, I don't have any problem. I choose pigry. For instance, um, I know much about poultry, but to me, the risk involved in poultry is 
far more higher than that of pig. That's why I choose to base on um, pig green. If not because of um, the prevalence of African swine fever, pig green, they have little or no problem. Once you do your routine treatment and your, you feed your animals well, pig, the way you treat pig, that's the way they will respond to you. If you feed them well, you get more profit from it. If you starve your animal, you see the result by yourself. In case of uh, poultry, poultry is not like that. No matter the, 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 the measures you put in place, I know a lot about poultry. If heat wave come, can clear, you can see your pen yesterday that you have 20,000 beds. You may come this morning, heat wave will may clear 10,000, even more out of it at once. But pigry is not like that. So far you treat the animal, the, the environment is clean, it is well ventilated. You can be rest assured that you have return for whatever you put in. The Food and Agriculture Organization had estimated that consumption of pork in Africa and by extension Nigeria will grow from its current size of 10.5 million metric tons to about 35 million metric tons by 2050. Pork represents about 36% of the world's consumption of meat. Poultry consumption follows with 35% and then beef with 25%. The honest truth is we have not been able to and we can't even meet up with the present state in Okiaro now. I don't think we can meet up with demands demands um, uh, in the country. Let's even narrow it down to Nigeria as a country. I don't think we can even meet up with demands. So um, as it stands now, um, for which we meet up with demands, a lot of things. A lot of things. We are fresh out from crisis. The the it, it was um, the crisis was more like a two-way thing. The um, 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 swine fever was eating us seriously. The same time and frame, the um, coronavirus issue was equally eating us. So they all came at that same time. So as it stands now, farmers are. They, they've, they've actually run out of funds. The uh, banks and the private sectors, the banking industries are really not helping matters. We are seriously lack of funds. So the little we can gather, it's what the, we are putting in to the business. If the government comes to our heads, we are not saying they are not trying. We are not saying they are not doing one or two things, but we are simply saying uh, we need more from them. If those banks can come to help us with, um, if the agricultural banks can come to our heads, then why not? We should be able to meet up with, with um, standard. You could see yourself. We are not even meeting up with international standard as it stands now. So when um, these um, banks and when these um, 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 agricultural um, 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 bodies come to our heads, we should be able to meet up um, with standard because funding it's paramount. Funding is one of our major challenges here in Okiaru. We shouldn't deceive ourselves. Um, pigry is not for the poor might. It's not for um, the average man. If you want to do pigry, then uh, you must be ready to spend money. Feeding takes about 75% to 80% of the total expenditure. So the, what the, 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 the feeding aspect is where the technicality of the business comes to play. The pig house will generally comprise a concrete or hard floor, adequate shelter, shade, adequate feeding and watering facilities for the pigs. Somebody introduced the business to me and to me, out of the other livestock, I still prefer the piggery because it has less um, risk, risk and stress. You can be walking, at, uh, walking from home. As far as you can talk to your attendant, doctor, if you have any problem, there are people there even before you get there. You can communicate through, I mean, you can, you can call people before you get there. And whatever you wanted to do, 
will be double even before you get to the place as a very lucrative uh, business. You can start from, from little and if you have large money, you can also start with it. Depends on some people, if you have a little money, you can, you can rent a room or two rooms or even more than that. If you, have, if you really have the big money, you can buy a pen, which is more advisable. I'm into Pigui and uh, I've been there for about 11 years and uh, God has been so faithful. Uh, in all of the livestock, I, we used to tell people that Pigri is the best because of the reproduction, uh, the way we reproduce. And uh, if not for the little crisis that we have like two, two years back, uh, we easily contain virus when it comes to, to pig, unlike others. Uh, let me just give you one or two examples. Like uh, if you are into bed, if you are into uh, chicken, if anything happens to one chicken, if you have 100 chicken in that area, the 100 will go. If the same thing with the catfish, you know, those are the category of livestock. We might be thinking you have 1,000 pieces in the, in the pool, you know. I don't know if you understand Yoruba. Yoruba we say, Inside that 1,000, like 10 will have gone, they will have beaten themselves. But it doesn't happen that way in piggy business. In piggy business, if one animal is sick, all you need to do is take that one out of 100, isolate that one, treat that one, then in two, three days, you return it back to, to where you take them and everything is fine. So in all of livestock, we used to tell people that piggy is the best. And it's actually the best because of the way they reproduce. Pork is white meat. And when you get to certain age in life, I mean, you get to 40 years old, you need to be eating pork. Pork works for a lot of things. You know, if you eat pork, it heals arthritis. You don't have arthritis. When you are your 50, 60, you do your jumping, you, you go to places and you'll be fine. Pork is very, very healthy, very, very healthy. And we use it for a lot of things. Even for the fact that you don't even eat it, there are ways you are, that pork is coming your way that you, don't, you are not aware of. So is it not even better for you to be consuming it so that it will nourish your body and everything will, will be fine? Actually, adding to a different um, farmer's pen now. This is one of the many pens here at this farm estate, and we are seeking knowledge of how the business works. Good afternoon. How are you doing, sir? Very well, thank you. Good to see you. Good to see you too, sir. Yes. Yeah. You're welcome to Agbeloba. Thank you very much. Agbeloba Pig Farm is a commercial pig farm okay. situated in Okaru. And Agbeloba is an arm of FC Bar group of um, companies. Okay. Yeah. So, what do we have here? Well, basically, we do piggy business. That's uh, pig farming. That's basically what we do. And then we have different types of animals. But currently, as we speak, we have just only three breeds of animal here in this pen, as we speak. Um, we have large white, we have um, Cambrough, we have Landry's. These are the major animals that we have. And um, in addition to the breeds of animals, we have boa. Boa is a male aspect of the animal. And we have gilt, we have soa. We also have impics. We have growers, we have winners. Piglets we don't have, as we speak. So I think as we go along, you're going to be telling us um, uh, the different types of these animals, uh, just pointing at them. Ab from the absolutely. Well. What we have here, is um, a mixed breed of both large white and cambrough. Now next year they are pure landries, but these are bois. That's a gilt, pure landries, getting ready for breeding. This is also pure landries, ready for breeding. So what are the distinctive features of these animals? Well, the distinctive features of the animals we can talk of their nature, their ears, their physique, 
their muscles and the kind of meat they produce from bacon, bacon to other kinds of meat. Okay, so because this looks like a large one, it's quite big. It's quite big, but not that big. <laughs> this is quite big, but this is not, this is not that big. Okay. Uh, if we want to look at the kg of this, this can be more than 80, 90 kg. The, the father of this that we lost to swine, to swine fever is close to 300 kg. Then you will know that this is not this is not quite big. So what breeds are these? This in this particular room we have land race and then um, cambrov. This particular animal is cambrov. This one too is cambrov, and these three they are land race, but pure land race, pure cambrov. I'm aware that you cross breed as well. Yes, we do cross breeding too, and we have pure. Okay, so, why do you cross breed? Well, we cross breed because we want to improve the stocks that we have. Um, what we have here generally, they are hybrid, hybrid of land race, hybrid of large white. But the genetics of this animal has a Duroc foundation close to 10 years now, their genetics have gone through 10 years. Their mother went through artificial insemination of um, Duroc. But presently, as we speak, we don't have Duroc in this, in this locality, as we speak. We are just trying to rebuild the farm, trying to restock. In the West African coast, the importations that we do on pork, per se, the importations on pork is close to 4.8 billion naira, as we speak. So when you now look at, are we really meeting the demand? We are not really meeting the demand as we speak. We have not gotten there. So we do more of importations of pork. And that's exactly what this farm settlement is trying to do. We want to reduce the importations of pork meat to the BRS minimum. So what do you think, what factors are militating against um, local production or local uh, breeding of this animal that would not make us meet the demand? Unfortunately, the concentrations our government have for pig farming in this clime is, 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 is not, is not is not as is not as much as expected. If the kind of concentration, the bed farmers, fish farmers have, is what pig farmers have, it will have been a different scenario on its own. African swine fever, also known as ASF, is a highly contagious viral disease of pigs. In its acute form, the disease generally results in high mortality. ASF is a different disease to swine flu. The virus does not affect people and there is no impact on human health. The risk of an ASF incursion continues to exist as the virus is still spreading across Europe with a recent wild boar occurrence detected in Italy. The farmers say they've seen the first and the second wave since 2020. Well, uh, the swine, you know, we all know swine fever. The swine, the um, ASF, it's the swine. It, uh, it's, uh, it's a worldwide epidemic. We had that experience in 2020. The first wave actually came in 2020. And the second wave came in 2021. It was a really tormenting experience here yeah, at the new farm. Most farmers um, lost their livestock. Most farmers even lost their lives. Many farmers were hospitalized. And as we speak, many farmers have still not been able to recover from that um, 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 experience. Thank God we are on our own. We are trying to put some measure in places. 
But then we still need the, the help of the government in, you know, in so many areas. You know, they've, they've been here several times. They took sample of our animals. They, you know, we actually need them on ground to be visiting us regularly. You know, like here, we don't have lab, you know. I think the, the major crisis we had then was when the animal was sick, there was no lab to take the, the, their sample to, to, to let us be aware on time that it was actually the ASF. So what we need is we need a laboratory. If government can give us lab here, yeah, so if any of our animal is sick, we will not be assuming that is this, is that, is this. You know, we will have gone to the lab, give it a tra test, by then we will have nowhere to tackle it. But as at the time it happened last time, we were just doing trial and error. So the thing really eats us before we realize it was actually an ASF. So I think what we need from government now majorly is lab. Sometimes last year, because of uh, ASF scare and things like that, people panic to sell. And then uh, new farmers are not really encouraged to come in like they, they're supposed to be. So pig business is, 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 is very okay and we have ready market. People come in to come and buy. At the peak of the crisis, there are some farmers that probably they just, you know, we, as much as we sell, we also sell on credit. To farmers that we know, to loyal farmers that have been patronizing for a while, or we, I belong to a cooperative. Goes with cooperative. So there are some members of the cooperative that will come for credit. Of course, I'll oblige because I know their pain, I know. So when the, at the peak of that crisis, when people were just making crazy sales, there are so many farmers that some that sold their animals and left without my knowledge. The ones I accused as in, uh, they were like, okay, we, the, the compound, they bought market from me last week and the, the thing struck. So they are like, my market is still in their tent. I should go and carry it. And when there is crisis, a disease that is contagious, there's no way I can go and carry my stuff. So we also made loss in that area because so many people are owing us and they left without paying. Cultural and religious influences are still strong in some parts of Africa, limiting pork production and consumption. Pig famine is growing across West, East, Central and Southern Africa. And here in Okiaru, uh, we have um, the presence of our off-takers. We have these off-takers, our independent ma and buyers, independent marketers that comes from different um, um, zones of the country. They, 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 they have their, um, they gather here, they buy our animals and go. We have a um, bunch of these off-takers from Wari that comes here to pick our animals. We have um, buyers from as far as Benin Republic. They equally come here to buy our animals and go. Uh, we have two categories of um, animal sales here in Okiaru. We have um, the breeding aspects, where you breed pigs, you breed um, um, animals to sell to breeders, which are the farmers. And uh, we have um, the categories where your animals go to a certain um, kg and you sell to the buyers for commercial purposes. Availability of quality feed is providing a major boost to pig production in West Africa. Maize, the main component of poultry, fish and pig diets, has been in short supply in Nigeria. Farmers' headers crisis has not helped in producing these main components. The feed, we sell the ones that are already uh, ready-made. That means it contains all the ingredients and additives that ready is ready-made, ready-made, ready-mixed from the company. So what farmers just need to do is just to buy and mix with their, uh, for their uh, pigs. These prices have uh, skyrocketed. And it's not only the prices, we, the scarcity. Of corn because in those days, once you tell a supplier you need so so tons, they will just tell you to give us two days, they will supply. But now you have to book ahead. Then the prices in those days we sell, we get like 90, 100 naira per kg, but now it's 280 naira per kg. 
270 per kg. So the prices has gone up. It started from the time of uh, before the COVID-19, you know, and the insecurity in the country because people are afraid to farm. People are afraid to go to farm to plant. So there was, I believe that farmers did not really plant enough uh -huh, because of the fear of being kidnapped. We also sell the drugs because, you know, in anything livestock, as much as you are feeding, you are, you, there is tendency that probably one, you will see one or two cases where the pigs are not eating or their growth is stunted. So we sell the antibiotics and we sell the multivitamins. We don't ju just sell this. We have a veterinary doctor that will use their license before we are allowed to sell the drug. So it's uh, legal. The growth and mortality of pigs largely depend on their feeding regime. The pigs consider the most efficient animal in converting feed to meat. About 70 to 75 percent of the total production cost of pig farm about 70 to 75 percent of the total production cost of the pig farm is due to feed cost. We have granules, we have corn offal, we have wheat offal, we have um, granite cake. This is granite, granite waste. You have the addictive, that's the lysine, mentholine, toxin, by that. These are like supplements for the pigs. So that's once, once they eat, they'll this is a, uh, we have a corn of our, this is corn of our, there's what you about call a go. This is what's the waste from a go. This is the corn. Once you grind, once we buy, we blend and we sell. We grind and sell. This is a, uh, this is cashew nuts. This is cashew nuts. Nigeria is recognized as one of the leading producers of pig meat globally. In 1970, Nigeria production was pegged at 28,350 tons. By 2019, it had grown to more than 300,000 tons until the 2020 ASF outbreak. That's our show for today, everyone. If you miss any part of it, you can watch it on our YouTube channel. You can also follow the conversation on our social media platforms displayed on the screen. Thank you very much for watching. I am Dari Do. See you next time and bye for now.